Hey, welcome back to North Pole Retro. Today, we got two more items from our overseas shipment. Let's get into what they are. First on the board, I didn't even know these existed, and I don't know why I didn't assume they exist. I have one for the Nintendo. Haven't done a video on that, but I'll get one up for that itself. And, I mean, this was before we started shoving four controller ports on everything. And that was the multi-tap. This one happens to be by... Hudson Soft, and this one is specifically branded for the Super Famicom. I do believe it was the exact same for the original Nintendo, but if you notice on the top, you have one, well, actually two, three, four, and five. These got plugged into the Player 2 port, and there was games that supported up to five players. This one will need a little bit of love. It is kind of discolored. I do enjoy the select thing up top of the P2 and then three through five. There's not a whole lot of documentation on it in that. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research into what that switch actually does. Cause I haven't really found anything with it yet. I haven't been able to find an original manual or anybody that actually said that this comes with a manual. But I just do know that they plug into the Player 2 port on the console itself. It's pretty short cable, but just thought it was kind of cool of like, hey, if you got four friends or five friends, you can come over, play some games together. This was the Model 1 and the original release. This thing is wide. I mean, it is really wide. And measuring off of this, we are at 29 centimeters. So, I mean, you're talking 29 centimeters wide on that. And that's the Model 1, and we have the Model 2. As you can see, this one, definitely a lot more compact. It's almost about a third of the size, height-wise. I mean, it's nowhere near as thick. It's about two thirds of the thickness. Has the same 2P and then three through five player selecting on the back, but this was the Model 2 that they released. There was a bunch of companies that released multi-taps for the console. And this one just happens to have a Bomberman face on it. And I do believe this was bundled in temporarily with one of the Bomberman games. And this was the Super Multi-Tap 2. This one was the Super Multi-Tap. So this was their actual second release. And I kind of like the two a little bit better than the original one, just due to the size of the whole thing. I kind of wish they would have done this and made it look kind of like the Super Famicom instead of having Bomberman's face on it. Maybe if I come down to it at some point in time, I might pick up a second one of these, rip this top sticker off, get another one made that kind of looks like the actual Super Famicom console itself. But do you know these have to get plugged into the Player 2 port? There is one third party game or homebrew, whichever way you want to call it, that does support up to, I do believe it was eight players. So you could use two of these and... I have tried it on both of these um, of, as far as regular games go, of these do not work when plugged into the Player 1 port. I've only had success with them in the Player 2 ports. Like I said, if anybody knows anything about the switches that were on these, leave a link or a comment down below and we will check that out. But just as far as the multi-taps go, I thought these two were kind of cool. One, the original. Two, Bomberman one. This one I'm more likely to keep and actually use. This one will probably end up going up on the website. You probably find that up there for sale. But anyways, we are North Pole Retro. Check us out at NorthPoleRetro.com. Consoles, modifications, repairs, reviews. Like, subscribe, share, join our Patreon to help support the channel. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping in and have a good night.